Hi, I'm Jay Rhodes with Denison Yacht Sales, and today we're going to be doing a walkthrough on a like new 2016 model 510 Sea Ray Sundancer. This 510 Sea Ray Sundancer is not your average express cruiser. Her owner opted for popular options like a hydraulic swim platform and cockpit sure shade. She's powered by Cummins 550s with Zeus drives that give you a joystick at the helm and the skyhook station. These features combine to offer easy, stress-free boating. Starting at the aft section of the boat, you'll find the hydraulic swim platform with integrated chocks for your dinghy. Three large storage compartments are also within easy reach. Moving into the expansive cockpit, you'll see that you have plenty of seating back here and notice that seamless flow into the interior space. Just above, you have the electric sure shade we mentioned earlier, which will certainly come in handy here in Florida. On the starboard side, we have a Kenyan grill with ice making below. The cockpit is definitely one of the best places to hang out while you're underway. Before we head inside, let's move up to the bow. Notice the handrails for safety as we move forward, and high railings make the trip to the bow feel comfortable even while underway. There's a big sun pad up here with cup holders on either side and stainless grab rails. And all the way forward, of course, is your anchor and windlass system. Now that we've seen the exterior, let's head inside. Now the first thing to note as we continue is that Sea Ray calls this area the sunroom. And you can certainly see why as the design brings in light from all around. The starboard side has a sink with refrigerator drawer below. And across from that is a large U-shaped seating area with a table that does fold out allowing for more guests. You might have already noticed the clever design of the helm seat. It easily swivels so you won't feel disconnected from the action. At the helm, you have two Raymarine Hybrid Touch displays for effortless cruising, and you'll also find the Zeus joystick here. You can rotate the stick to make her spin on a dime, or you can move it left or right, and the whole boat responds accordingly. She's also equipped with a skyhook station that will hold the boat stationary with the push of a button. Her Cummins 550s produce a total of 1,100 horsepower, allowing her to cruise at 24 knots and top out at 30 knots. Now let's continue down below into the accommodations. The sunroom design flows down below thanks to this atrium feature. Sea Ray considers this area to be your main salon. The starboard side has a seating area that pulls out into another berth. Lots of storage all around and notice the large whole side windows that add even more light. Across from this area is your galley with full size fridge and freezer, microwave, two burner cooktop, and all the storage you'll need for those long range cruises. Also, the finishes in the galley are outstanding. This area does have a flat screen TV, which makes four total in the boat. Continuing forward into the VIP, we find an Island Queen berth, and you'll see the abundance of natural light that floods in from the side and above. Your day head can be accessed from here as well as the salon. Heading aft in the boat, we arrive in the full beam master stateroom, located amidship. Standout features are hanging lockers to port and starboard and yet another flat screen TV. Instead of the typical ensuite head here, Sea Ray decided to separate the sink in order to increase the size of your shower and head area. Thank you for taking the time to view this walkthrough on this like new 510 Sea Ray Sundancer. If you'd like more information or if you'd like to get aboard, please contact me.